Hey everyone, welcome to episode three of Rock the Promo. I'm your host, Joe Sanagato. If you don't know, Rock the Promo is a weekly competition where contestants lay the verbal smackdown on each other until one remains. Thousands of people filmed and submitted their wrestling promos, but The Rock only picked 32 of you idiots to compete. Now those contestants are in a single elimination bracket to find out who's going to be the champion. We already took care of the left side of the bracket, so now we're going to the top right. As always, our contestants will be judged on the three C's. Character, comedy, costume. So without further ado, let's meet our guest judge. He's a three-time world champion, arguably one of the greatest luchadors of all time, and he will 619 you and 69 your wife. It's Ray Mysterio. What's up, man? And that is right. I will 69 your wife, and there ain't nothing you can do. Let's get to our first matchup. Sweet Revenge versus Shabazz. This is CC Macchiato, here with the stud muffin, and together we are Sweet Revenge. It'll bring a little flavor to all you stale mofos that ain't got no taste. Talk to him, stud, and you don't want nothing with the big stud muffin, because you can rest assured I'll break you off some. Tell me they call you CC because it ain't no carbon cop. And I'll stand for cancel Christmas. I circumcise you all. Sure. Caramel crush, baby. You see, the impact of sweet revenge will hit you like an espresso shot. Sending jokes up and down the competition till they crash to the canvas. <laughs> and when it hits you with a muffin top drop, you best believe it's going to be like Jessica Fletcher. Murder, she, rubble. You're going to wish you never asked for dessert. <laughs> you see, when it comes to the joys in life, there's only a few that win. But there's nothing tastier than sweet revenge. Sweet Revenge. <laughs> I love Sweet Revenge. I love them. The only thing, this little, that didn't make it flawless is I don't know why this guy's holding up like a fucking art project. Maybe next time get like a graphic designer, get some cool graphics on the screen. But everything else was great. It actually looked like they were shooting that video in the pen, man. You see there was a white background wall, pink little aprons. But you know what? They had the swag. They had the swag to pull it off. And to be honest, I give him a 10, man. By the way, is that fucking Sam from Game of Thrones? Let's see if Shabazz has any Game of Thrones characters in his promo. My name is Shabazz Green and Rock. I'm exactly what you're looking for. You see, you're gonna get a bunch of videos of people claiming to be the future, claiming to be perfect, claiming to be the next big thing, but they're all liars. You see, you want somebody that's perfect, that accomplishes every task that's put in front of you. You want somebody that elevates the people to be better than once they once were. You rock that sits before you. Those other people are liars. You want to know the truth. You want to lower from me. Just ask the people. Shabazz, 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 Shabazz. This fucking guy Shabazz has a cult of like preteens chanting his name in a basement. Where are their parents? That is terrifying. I don't, I'm not gonna talk about this anymore. Ray, what do you think? Joe, I'm exactly with you. What the f was going on there, man? First off, I don't understand what Ronda Rousey was doing sitting in the back wall in the corner. Shabazz, Shabazz, bro. That shit freaked me out, man. I feel like they wanted to hypnotize me or something. All right, Ray, who's moving on and who's gonna talk shit about me in the comments? Without a doubt, sweet revenge. Sweet revenge, sweet revenge, sweet revenge. Yeah. Congrats, sweet revenge. You guys look great in those pink aprons. And when I say great, I mean a little fucking weird. Let's move on to our second matchup. La Chambertie versus Mr. Packer. This is Tom Birdie, never nerdy. About to get real dirty, just like I did with you, girl. Coming at you live from the 210, where I'm 20, shut that dog up. Where I'm 21 and 0. I eat a raw egg for each victory. So I'm eating 21 eggs before my next match. I haven't hit the potty in like four weeks, but I keep it inside of me. My body reads the energy. Let me tell you why the Rock the Promo Belt's gonna be mine. Trained in the Texas heat. That's why I can't be beat. <sighs> hit the music. Come on, man, hit the music. Fucking Nacho Libre walking on hot coals. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed by this. I agree with you, Joe. A little Nacho Libre there. I like the fact that La Chamberti represented his hood with the 210. Now, as you know, I represent the 619. I wanna see if I can get in touch with this La Chamberti so he can teach me how to do the whatever the fuck he was doing, man. Let's see if Mr. Packer can outdo him. Did I scare you? Good. Be scared. Cause I'm Mr. Packer. And when they told you the competition was gonna be stiff, they were talking about this guy right here. I'm coming with full force. I'm gonna penetrate the competition and eliminate them one by one. 
See, what my opponents don't know is that I'm always there during your most intimate moments. First thing in the morning when you wake up, bam, Mr. Packer's there, waiting. Even completely unbeknownst at totally inappropriate times. So all you other limp noodles out there, get ready, because Mr. Packer's here, and it's about to get hard. I don't really know what to say about this guy. He's like a, an angry boner, dressed as a hot dog. I don't really know. Ray, can you figure it out? This guy should be doing a condom commercial or something, man. He's talking about uh, getting hard and in the morning, and you're absolutely right, Joe. I couldn't figure this guy out. All right, Ray, who's moving on, and who's going to be a total dick to the next people they serve at Applebee's? The winner for this is La Chamberti. Congratulations, La Chamberti, but let's move on. Paragon versus the plumber. Excellence obtainable, perfection sustainable, but there is only one Paragon. People say all the time, Paragon, why do you think you're better than us? You call yourself the demigod, the god among men, the man with greatness written on his backside, literally. I don't think, I know, and I am better than you. Take Dave, for example, come here, Dave. Dave, you know that I'm better than you, right? Wow. And you know I'm better than every single one of these people, correct? Mm -hmm. And you know that I am better than everyone on my worst day, correct? Ooh. Thank you, Dave, you're a great help. See, there's a million of you. There's a million of Dave. But there's only one paradigm. What the, dude, it, it, Quinn, hello, three years we know each other, it, 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 hey. Okay, first off, the first thing I noticed is this boy has some nipples on him, okay? And I don't know why he brought Hagrid into that video just to make fun of him. That was a little mean, okay? The Paragon could have been a little bit more original with this costume attire. Come on, man, he picked a yellow notebook piece of paper and wrote greatness with the Sharpie. He could have done better than that, man. And Dave, or Hagrid, I think he did better than the Paragon, so that's what I think. Let's see what the plumber has to offer. I'm Chris Plum. The plumber! Oh! I'm from Plumber, Idaho. I come from a long line of people who don't take crap from anybody. When I was a baby plumber, my daddy gave me this plunger, and he said, son, you'd be clean the pipes all day. I've been wrestling for 10 years, and wrestling is a dirty job. But I've never met a foe I couldn't flush in that ring. No one gets their hands dirty like the plumber. These wannabe pretty boy fairy farts, they can't light a match in my bathroom. No one drops a deuce on me. When I get in the middle of that squared circle and I land one of the greatest wrestling moves of all time, the plunger. You'll be going down in a swirly of ones, twos, and threes. This man won my vote as soon as he plunged his own fucking face. I was surprised that an eyeball didn't pop out. This guy looks pretty old too. I'm assuming that he has a couple of kids and I'm sure they're not gonna be thrilled that their father's in the basement hanging up swords on the wall, making rock the promo videos. This guy's crazy. Right, what do you think? The plumber was awesome, man. He had great feel, great emotion to it. He had the plunger, he was making all sorts of movements. He did deliver fire and he actually came up with a wrestling name up to one of his moves, which was uh, the plunger. That's awesome, man, that, that's, that speaks highly. All right, Ray, who's moving on and whose stepdad makes them call him dad? The winner, without a doubt, is the plumber. Yeah! Congratulations to the plumber, just make sure you clean the plunger before you fucking plunge your face, okay? Let's move on to the next matchup. Prince James versus Caldwin Abbott. Hashtag rock the promo, ha! Oh, I'll crush it, cause Prince James is it. Now it's been said that The Rock is looking for the next professional wrestler and megastar. Well, Rocky, I hope you have on your ultraviolet UV red protective sunglasses, cause Prince James shines so bright. I'll burn out your freaking redness, dog. Born and bred at the dog pound of 1512 at the Dirty Jerks. I'm as rude as Rick. I'm a nature like the nature boy. Woo! I excellently execute like Brett, and I hope all you other humanoids just realize you're now competing for number two. Just don't bring your girl to the ring, cause I blow kisses. Prince James, bitch. Honestly, I can't get past the background. Like he's in a gym, I see rings, so I just assume he does CrossFit. So I fucking hate this guy. Joe, we need to get a hold of this guy, Prince James, man, cause I want whatever he's on. But you know what? He had the lyrical words to spit some fire. He called you out, Rock. He said, you better have your ultraviolet shade, Rock. So, it was all right. Let's take a look at Caldwin Abbott. Now listen, folks, and you listen good. You were looking at Caldwin Abbott, the contagious contender, the Abbott tip, recommender, the towering terror, the face of the Abitude Era, leader of the elite, immune to defeat. And you know, I've got some Abbott tips for you. 
habit tip number 371 says you should always do what's right. Unless, of course, you're like the avatar who is a lefty. Abbott tip number three says Caldwin Abbott is always right. Therefore, you should always do whatever the hell he says. Like losing to a match to him one on one. So you should come spar with the avatar and you'll never walk out the same way again. And you know, this guy has never once told a lie. True. Here's an Abbott tip. Speak up! I couldn't even fucking hear you. I almost fell asleep in the middle of this promo. Right, what do you think? Joe, habit tip number one. You should have cleaned your ears so you could have listened correctly. I felt the same way, man. I couldn't understand what he was saying. And what he did say, I didn't understand either. So, eh, it's all right. All right, Ray, who's moving on and who's watching virtual reality porn? Which sounds like a pretty dope consolation prize, by the way. Person moving on is Prince James, yatch. Well, congratulations, Prince James. So, Ray, you embody the three C's more than anybody, probably. So can you give any advice to these contestants? You need to have some character. You need to have a good attire. You need to be presentable when you cut these promos. So, come on, man, be original. Be original. Bring some of that good stuff. Something's gonna make you go, damn, I like that. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Ray, thanks for coming. Thank you, guys. I'll see you all again next week when we finish moving through the first round. We've got guest judge Shane Hurricane Helms, the fucking hurricane. So I'll see you next week on Rock the Promo. I'm serious about that virtual reality form. Do you have it? Welcome, Joe. Yes, Joe. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, don't worry, Joe. That happens to the best of us.